Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to review community safety. And so as I thought about doing a community safety video, I thought about going to the center of town and, you know, shooting a video there because today we are talking about community safety uh, locations. But I thought people might find it strange seeing me walk around with my camera talking to it. So um, I figured I would shoot the video from down here instead. So today we wanted to talk about different community locations and um, just to be aware of what they're for um, and how they can help us. So we are going to start by reviewing the fire station. And so the fire station is a place where fire trucks and other firefighting equipment such as hoses and personal protective equipment are stored. Firefighters are people who are trained to respond to emergencies of many kinds. Firefighters can be called to put out a fire at a house or a brush fire or forest fire. They can respond to the scene of a car accident or can determine the cause of a fire. Some cities and towns have full-time firefighters, while other smaller towns might only have a volunteer fire department. I know with uh, my town, it's a volunteer fire department. And so when a city or town has a fire department that is full-time, um, people live at the fire station during their shift. And firefighters often work over 40 hours a week. You'll see that in one of the videos where you guys can check out what the inside of a fire station looks like. The firefighters there work 24-hour shifts at a time. So, you know, you can see how it'd be really quick for people to be able to work over 40 hours. Um, next, let's look at the police station. So, the police station is the place where um, police officers, law enforcement workers, um, and other administrative staff are based out of. A police station have, has offices for workers. It has interview rooms, holding cells for people who have been arrested. It, there's also equipment at the fire station for officers to use, such as police vehicles and other personal protective equipment. So police officers respond to emergencies, prevent crime, arrest criminals, and protect the public. Some cities and towns have their own police force, while smaller towns may use the state police for assistance. And police officers, um, you know, they might even respond to something like a, a car accident. You know, if any of you have been in a car accident before, a police report is filed after that. And then each area um, of a town or city has police officers who are on duty at all times. So even if the town doesn't have a police force, those state police can be called at all hours of the day or night if an emergency arises. The next community location to be aware of is a hospital. And so a hospital is a place where people go for various types of medical treatment. This could be emergency care, it could be surgery, pregnancy care, anything like that. Hospitals employ a variety of trained staff that can include doctors, nurses, administrative staff, specialists, security guards, and food staff. And people who receive care at a hospital can go there for a couple hours to a few weeks or more depending on the type of care that's being provided. All hospitals have emergency rooms where people can go for a couple hours to a few weeks um, or more depending on the type of care that's being provided. And so you guys know, mostly most of you might know that Harrington Hospital is the closest one to our program. It's nice because it's right up the road so it's really easy for us to get to in case of an emergency. The next community location to be aware of is a bank. And so this is the place where people deposit or withdraw money. Um, people can also request a loan from a bank as well. Um, loans might be used to purchase a house or a car. 
um, or anything of that nature. Banks have people working in them, um, such as tellers and other administrative staff. And all the money in the bank is kept securely in a safe. And we learned about banks in some of our um, money management uh, classes that we've been doing. Now, the last community location that we wanted to review is a town hall. And so this is a place where town offices are, along with meetings of town government. And so the town hall can include people like the town clerk, uh, the collector of taxes, um, the assessor, building inspector or commissioner, and the town manager. And so some offices at the town hall um, might be open consistently, like Monday through Friday, while others might only be open during special hours. I know for my town, it's, it's a small town, so um, the town clerk, I think, is the only one that's there all the time. And then town all, halls can also have other um, important information, like birth certificates that you can request if you need them. So each of these places has a specific phone number that you can call if you need assistance. And often the easiest way to find the phone number is to look it up online. And if you need um, assistance in an emergency, the phone number that you would dial is 911 for assistance. And this will ensure that you get help as soon as possible. Now there's many other community locations to be aware of. Um, things like gas stations, grocery stores, pharmacies, department stores, gyms, movie theaters, community centers and restaurants. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of places. And sometimes, depending on the town that you live in, if you live in a small town like me, you know, we don't have all those things, but there are towns or cities around us where we can get to those things more easily. So whether you have these things directly in your town or whether they're one or two towns away, it's just really good to know where these places are and what they look like. Another thing is, um, you know, to just be um, keeping a phone number list of some of these places. We talk about this in household safety, that for things like the police station, the fire station, you know, your doctor's office even, to just keep those phone numbers on hand and even the reminder to dial 911. Um, because sometimes in an emergency we can get kind of flustered, you know, so having things written down in a centralized location can be helpful so that you can get the help that you need. And if you don't know where a community location is, or maybe you're not sure the phone number, you can certainly ask a trusted person for help, whether it's a staff, your provider, family member, or friend, because knowing these community locations will help you to be as safe as possible. So we hope that you guys enjoy the um, activities that we posted for you today, and we look forward to seeing you all on the Zoom calls later.